Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Upsit. So uh, in this video I will uh, mention uh, the, the latest uh, Django teams released by, by us. Uh, both are open source products and uh, are available on um, Firefight for, for download. So the first one is the um, soft uh, UI dashboard uh, designed by creative team. So the product is super super nice, uh, comes with um, dark mode and uh, other things. Uh, another product is uh, material dashboard uh, designed also by creative team uh, using the latest version the product looks uh, amazing we will uh, check out the interface soon so uh, let's follow up the um, uh, instruction provided in this blog article and I will just copy paste uh, uh, commands one by one and uh, in the end we should have a usable uh, Django project uh, styled with uh, these uh, amazing designs um, and uh, the project uh, is uh, created from scratch without any other tools or libraries so let's go I will uh, go to my uh, working directory where uh, I create many many experiments during the day so um, let's uh, start uh, uh, the project first thing is to create the, uh, the uh, directory for the project uh, the second uh, uh, thing that we need to, to do is to create a virtual environment and um, basically install Django this command will install the latest version of Django so uh, in case you want to play with legacy version like 3.x whatever just uh, uh, equals the version here in this command so it will be pip install Django equal with uh, your preferred version okay once you have the Django up and running we need to execute this command but please note this um, dot at the end because uh, uh, if we uh, if we use it uh, the um, the new project will be installed in the current directory and will not create uh, another directory in the um, you know, current working directory so uh, I will use it I will use the command as suggested in the um, in the tutorial like this uh, we have um, uh, at this moment we have uh, an up and running uh, Django project which was uh, generated by the using the Django tools so um, basically we can uh, start application and uh, see how it goes in the browser uh, let's follow up the other instructions uh, this uh, migration um, this is the migration command uh, basically generates all the necessary SQL and uh, provision the database by default Django comes with um, SQLite persistence but we can easily change uh, from SQLite to other other databases supported by Django which are MySQL, Postgre, Oracle or Microsoft uh, databases um, this is pretty pretty cool so let's uh, create also the the new the super user super users in uh, in Django for newcomers are like the root user for Unix systems it is the user that can manage manage his, uh, can manage all other users create elite update users and uh, the creation uh, should use uh, for the creation we should use the the CLI the Django CLI I will create an uh, admin user okay I will put here a strong password hope uh, it's typed correctly so at this point we have the super user created our uh, project is up and running so uh, we can uh, access the, the product I will start a server and uh, access the UI 
Oh, sorry, I was uh, I was playing around with another with another project. Cool. So this is the um, this is the project uh, has the um, full splash screen uh, delivered by by Django. Let's uh, access the administrator page and uh, visualize the interface so uh, we have here some uh, minimum uh, UI with uh, groups uh, UI and also users uh, users can be edited we can add new users and stuff like that nothing uh, amazing so uh, let's go back to the tutorial and uh, follow up the team installation basically we are at this point where we have the application and we want to install the let's say for the first step we want to install the soft dashboard which is uh, uh, designed as said before by a creative team uh, the UI is, uh, can be visualized here uh, super super nice has a lot of pages a lot of uh, widgets uh, user profiles and so on so uh, in case anyone likes the design let's uh, install the team we need to go back to the terminal and uh, execute the pip install uh, django soft admin <coughs> sorry soft admin dashboard once the installation is over uh, we need to open up the settings file and uh, uh, add this uh, add a single line in the install apps so um, an important fact is the um, position of the of the of this line that should be above of uh, django contrib dot admin line <coughs> okay so the the file is saved now we can uh, start application and uh, check out the new interface okay the, the index page looks the same but uh, if we go to the admin site uh, now it looks different uh, we have here some uh, some really nice things we can go here and uh, access the um, users uh, page and also the groups uh, let's add a new user let's say test okay okay so uh, now the, the users uh, the user is uh, is created we can uh, log out and uh, and use it okay let's uh, update the interface uh, in case you get it uh, get bored let's uh, install the the second um, the second one which is the um, material dashboard also users can visualize the ui before installing here um, so the, the ui looks again super nice we have here a lot of things of uh, dark mode uh, so in case you prefer this one instead of the soft ui dashboard let's follow up the instructions provided in the in the readme file so i'll uh, uh, go back and uh, install the team so the team is is installed we need to um, uh, to uh, update the configurations uh, the configuration as for um, soft dashboard basically you need to update this uh, this line let's no I need to take the entire line 
but only determination sorry okay now the application is up and running let's access the admin site so the the UI is different we can see here so basically we we just install the packages and uh, the UI is automatically updated so um, guys thanks for watching uh, uh, let us know what you think uh, the both products are open source you can uh, find them on Wi-Fi uh, let me access the Wi-Fi uh, pages so here is the soft dashboard this is the latest version and uh, the other one is material dashboard more will come in the coming days for tailwind and, uh, and other ui kits so feel free to chat with us just other kits that we want to integrate into your uh, Django projects and uh, we will uh, provide the products uh, for uh, issues and uh, uh, product requests feel free to access AppSet and uh, go to the support page chat with us on discord uh, the community on discord is super nice has more than 1000 users and also we are answering to all the all the emails thanks for watching again adrian here from absid and as always i wish you all a super super day bye guys